it's really been phenomenal here over the last couple of days. Um, a few of the things that have stood out for me is the size of the opportunity here to use AI for good. So I was listening to Joshua Benjo's um, speech, and he mentioned that if you stop AI R&D activities right now, you'll still have 10 years worth of um, benefits to reap. So that really shows the size of the opportunity. And I was also listening to Marcus Shingle's um, speech, and he says this is just the start. So actually, as technologies such as CRISPR and blockchain advance, we might need to apply simical, um, similar thinking around ethics as well. So the really, the thinking that we develop here now, we really need to apply it in a way to different technologies. I really think we need some actionable steps that we can take that we can actually measure um, and iterate on going forward and collaborate on. So we've heard a lot about um, you know, taxation on robots and the power of the connected community um, in which kind of seven to eight billion people in the future might have connected devices. But actually, as well as collaborating on ideas, we really need to collaborate on the execution of those ideas so that we can make sure they're successful. Sure. Um, so at the moment, PwC are actually helping clients, a number of clients in different industries, actually implement AI into their businesses. Um, and we've de developed a framework to help clients implement AI in a responsible way into their businesses. Um, in addition to that, we've developed some tools and frameworks that actually help clients to under and businesses understand the impact of their social and environmental outcomes. So if you combine those with um, our technology practice um, in which I'm, I'm, I'm a part of, you can actually help clients identify how they can use AI to tackle some of these um, grand challenges. I think a couple of things. The first thing is the rate of development within the industry. So the algorithms are quickly getting more and more smarter and therefore more effective. Um, and the second thing is the democratization of both access to the technology and education um, around AI. And if you combine those two things together, what you get is AI-enabled innovation globally um, and in developing countries too. And that's something I'm passionate about and excited about. Yeah, I think the, the future is really positive for AI because um, you can use it, one, in businesses to help make better business decisions. But as we've learned um, over the last two days, we really need to focus on using AI for the benefit of humanity. The conversations with participants at the AI for Global Good Summit are really interesting. I mean, over lunch, you might brainstorm some new ideas. Uh, we were just talking about launching an AI accelerator, such as an AI for CERN, if you like. Um, so I think you don't know who you're going to bump into, what ideas you're going to dream up, and actually then go and get along with as well. So I think this is a great opportunity to kind of bring some of the world's leaders together, but actually leave with practical steps to use AI for good.